watching this video. Today I'm going to talk about string and tuning issues for your instrument. I have actually had quite a bit of trouble over this past week with a few of my students who their instruments are just not staying in tune, their strings are breaking, and I figured, well, I should make this video anyway, so hopefully this helps my private students and any of you who are watching. I know that a lot of you have sent in similar comments and similar questions, so that's what we're going to deal with today. And the first issue that I hear a lot is that the pegs just won't turn. They're sticking, they are not, uh, they're just not behaving. And one thing that you can do is to pull out the peg and right where the peg meets the wood of the peg box, you know, right where the problem is, where it's sticking, just take a pencil, rub it all along there because the graphite actually makes it just not stick anymore. So that's a really good solution and it's cheap. Another thing that you can do is use peg compound. I've never personally used this, I've never had the need to, but string teachers and musicians do this all the time. They recommend this to their students. The other problem that people often experience is that their pegs like to slip. Again, peg compound is very useful for this. And again, I haven't used it personally, but I do know that it works. Another thing that you can do is um, to buy geared pegs. The way that guitars are tuned, they have gear pegs or an upright bass, those are gear pegs. They do look different from the traditional peg that you would see on a cello, but I just found it recently is that they do make geared pegs for cellos that look like regular pegs. It does not alter the overall aesthetic of your instrument if you do end up getting gear pegs. They're just very easy to turn. There's no trouble with sticking or slipping, but that does save a lot of time, especially if you play in an orchestra and you have to tune very quickly. I'm not quite sure about the pricing, but it is an option. The other problem is that your strings just don't want to stay in tune. So it really doesn't have anything to do with the pegs themselves. It's just your strings and your instrument in general. It's just not, it's not working. First tip is to keep it in a temperate environment. You do not want to keep your instrument in a place where it is drastically cold one day and really warm the next day. I actually know someone who did that to their instrument and the wood has started warping and cracking and it's really sad. So just don't do that to your instrument. It's very sad. And of course, this is rather common sense, but don't bump your instrument, don't drop it, don't kick it around, you know, those things. And another thing that you can do to help with this, um, whenever you are putting on a new string, uh, make sure that you wrap the string close to the edge of the peg box. So don't, whenever you're twisting the peg and you're putting the string on and the string is going around, don't let that space get too wide. You want to kind of keep the coil of the string pretty compact and keep it pushed up against the edge. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get my cello to show you a couple things. The other thing that I want to address is the problem of strings breaking. And this is very sad when this happens because strings are so expensive. The first thing to keep in mind is that whenever you're putting the string on your instrument, make sure that as you tighten it to the correct pitch that you are loosening it along the way. And you can kind of pull on the string to the side just to stretch it out a little bit. If you tighten it all at once, it has a greater likelihood of breaking. Another thing that can happen, and I actually had this problem with a student this morning, she put on three different A strings and they all broke. Her peg had a rough spot on it and it was rubbing up against the string and it just it broke it. It snapped all three strings. Up here at the nut, this part right here, um, there can be a rough edge on that and it can just cut into the string and snap it. Um, so that's a very good thing to keep an eye out for. You can always take it to the string instrument shop. Another thing to keep in mind is to buy durable strings. For me, on this cello, I'm using Larson for A and D and Belcanto for C and G. The Larson have the most beautiful sound. I love Larson strings, but they do break a little bit more easily. However, I play enough so that by the time they are wanting to break, they're already worn down, so it's okay, and I, I need to buy another set anyways. So that's okay for me because I do play that much. If you do not play as much, I would definitely recommend Dodario strings. Those are the two options. I use Larson if I'm going to be going through strings faster, and I use Dodario if I want to actually have a pair that's going to last me a little bit longer. So those are the main problems that people tend to experience on this topic. Hopefully my information can help you. As always, love what you do, practice well, share it with others. Thank you for watching this video and keep an eye out for next week's video as well.